All right, my people, I'm on my way to Simi Valley to cover a football game for a local newspaper. I'm gonna stop ahead of time to hopefully find some more profits at the Goodwill right down the street from the high schools. Before the pandemic, I made all my money writing sports for newspapers. Since then, I've been doing a little bit of everything, including writing for newspapers and flipping online for profit. So let's go find some stuff to flip. All right, so this is the Simi Valley Goodwill. I wouldn't say it's the ideal time to come shopping, but because it's an area we don't really go to a lot, it's all new to us. So we'll see if we can find some stuff. As soon as I walked in, I saw a crazily overpriced jacket and right in the front. Uh, so I walked right by that. I'll show you that in the end. But I came across this Orvis jacket in the winter section. It is partially kind of quilted and padded. This brand sells well, so I always pick it up, especially if I can get it at a good price. At six bucks, I'll definitely grab this thing. Still in the winter section here, I see a familiar logo. It is Diodora down the side of this jacket here. I pull it out to get a real good look at it. The tags are cool. The zipper is actually the logo as well, and the embroidery is still in good, good shape there. So I certainly gave this a real close look because it is probably from the 90s. I know it was really big and popular back then. Most soccer fans know this brand for sure. Um, and this one was in great shape. It has cool little pockets. The zipper works fine. The tags are nice, the embroidery is still in good shape, so overall, didn't want to leave this behind, especially at $9. Wasn't finding much in the t-shirt section until I came across this Nike shirt. It looks like a generic kind of shirt, but the embroidery there with the logo caught my eye. I found this thing on the side that says Para, and it turns out that it's a skateboarding shirt, a well-known skateboarder apparently. At $2.50, definitely got to grab this, should be able to fetch close to 40 bucks. Of course, I had to check out the electronics and came across this really cool Etch-A-Sketch animator. I had never seen this before. I looked it up at $15. It's not going to be worth it, but definitely a cool little thing to spot at the thrift store. Roaming around the hard goods section, I came across this sealed HP toner box. I hadn't come across one of these in a while, but this one had a little bit of water damage on the corner. So I wasn't sure if it was going to really affect the cartridge on the inside, but at $2, it's really not a big gamble. And this one has been fetching on eBay 40 bucks. That's free shipping, so I'd probably price it around $30 plus shipping. And I swung back around to that overpriced jacket just to show you guys. Chatsworth is a local high school out here, and they have two of these, both priced at 80 crazy dollars. There is no way any of these sell, but they are cool to look at. 20 bucks spent. Could very well turn into well over 75 bucks in profits. 75 bucks is what I get per game just to be out there, hang out, watch, take some stats, and then just write down what I saw pretty much. So that's what a gamer is. Do obviously a little bit of research to know what's happening as far as stats and games and uh, how the teams have been doing. But other than that, it's just show up on the day, watch what happens, and write a report about it for the newspaper. So. 75 bucks for that compared to 75 bucks for less than an hour in a Goodwill. We'll see which one works out better. All right, folks, we're at Simi Valley. You can hear the drum line off in the distance and everyone's getting ready for Friday night lights. All the parking lots are already full and it's still 45 minutes to kick off. So I'm sure the Saugus fans are gonna be out here too. We'll see how this goes though. Pretty sure Simi Valley is expected to win this one since Saugus hasn't won a game yet, but you never know, it's high school football, so. definitely got blown out by Simi Valley, but let's get back into the thrift stores. This is early the next week. All right, so we're in our closest Goodwill. This is right down the street. I haven't been here in a while because the prices are kind of getting out of hand. So far, seems like not much has changed. Prices are still pretty out of control. Is this a Harvard sweater? This looks intense. I don't know about this stain. We might be able to get that out. Seven bucks might be worth it because it's probably like a really old school Harvard sweater. The music is way too loud right under the speaker here, but I was able to find this Bad Bunny t shirt from his recent tour at six bucks. Should be able to get more than 20 bucks for it. All right, so we came across this metal militia tank top, which is something that was really popular when I was in high school. I'm not sure if there's still demand for it, but cool grab, anyways. Then we had three straight shirts over here that I think are worth it. Walking Dead promotional AMC. It's not vintage or anything, it's only 2014, but I think that's cool. Big game, James Worthy. I 
recognize this tag, the Tennessee River Gold on here. I didn't know who Little Texas was, but I wasn't gonna leave this behind. Probably can get more than 20. One more brand, we just picked one of these up. Quick flips each time. Couple more brands, I usually like to pick up. This Ruka looks simple on the front, but on the back, got this really cool old school tattoo art style thing. And then Rourke Revival is a brand that we pick up a lot of shorts of. This is a t-shirt. Sell through it on t-shirts, pretty good actually. 60 listed, 80 sold. This one's got a cool design, so should be okay. No tag though, so we'll see what they charge us. Checking out the hard goods, found a call blocker. These are usually pretty good flips. I don't even know if it's in there, but either way, yeah, it's in there. But they priced it way too high. They're all selling 20, 23, 19. All right, so ended up being a lot of bread and butter. We spent just under 47 bucks. This sweater might do it alone if I can get that stain out of there, but it's very cool, very cool quality. Definitely old and a couple of cool shirts in here. So overall, nice little trip. Let's keep it going. So we're at the local honey hole. I think it's hilarious. Uh, last time I shared this spot and I said it was my best or favorite spot to go to, people were asking why I would share the information about it. But in reality, there's so much stuff that goes through here that I'm not gonna be able to find it all. So I hope other people come here and grab it because there's no way I can grab it all. So we'll see what's in here. All right, so we just came across a Vistla short sleeve button up. I actually just showed some shorts earlier, some board shorts. It's a good brand. There's some little spots there, but that'll come out. That mustard might not though. I'm not gonna risk it, but I did also find this John Barbados short sleeve button up. All the buttons are there, that's good. No holes or stains. And they priced it at seven bucks, which is a little high, but I can get probably 20 to 25 bucks for it. So blue is a good color and medium. Should be all right. This is soft. Oh, sneak peek. Oh man, it's my size. I'm gonna have to keep this. 13 bucks. I'm gonna have to flip this. Up here we've come across a Vince V-neck t-shirt. Pima cotton. These can at least go for 20 bucks. But this one's kind of faded. There is one here that's not so faded. So this will probably be the better flip. Guys, I found arguably the best shirt I've ever found. Wavertown. Just cruising through the shorts like I normally do and I end up coming across these Ruka shorts. They're like the sport ones. Pretty sure they're women's because they're pretty short. So we only spent 29 bucks. The Lululemon shirt is what cost half of that. So just some more bread and butter, nothing too exciting. Just glad to find some things. Headed on to our last stop now. Okay, we're at the Super Thrift right down the street on Sherman Way, also in Reseda. Obviously only three stores in this video. That just shows about the pace I'm going as far as uh, turnover on the items I source. I only hit a couple stores, maybe a couple hours a week looking for stuff. Whatever I find, it will take the time to list and then I take the time to cross list all while editing video on the same time. So obviously there are people out there who are pushing it way more. Thrift Addicted is out there all the time. Junkers Field is out there all the time. So they find a bunch of good stuff. So if you want to see high volume turnarounds, definitely give them a follow on Instagram. They got the good stuff. For now, we're going to go in here and see if we can find some stuff for ourselves. Hockey jersey. What, Nike and Bauer? Ever seen this collab before? I mean, there is a one snag up here, but people might still want this. It's been sitting here a while because it was five, now it's only 260, so we'll grab it. See, this is a race shirt. I actually attended this race and raced in it. They give out shirts at most races to everyone in attendance or everyone that uh, toes the start line, but I think it's silly that they make so many because I see so many in the stores, it's wild. Like, literally dozens per store on miscellaneous race shirts that no one initially even asked for, but it's silly that they make all these shirts when in reality they could just not and people would still run. I think once you get to a couple races, you end up with two, three, four, and how many shirts can you possibly keep in rotation before you just donate them away? This is exactly what I'm talking about with the shirts though. One turkey trot, 2012 half marathon 5K, another drumstick dash, 5k walk I mean another walk that's way too many clothing items being put into the system just from people who signed up for a race didn't really want it got it end up donating it and then it goes here goes through here for a couple weeks because this has already been marked down and then it'll just get trashed anyways that's the end of my rant so this is a cool one Got all the little things on there, the official tag. Size small, but should still be okay. 
shirt feels nice. Looks like it got destroyed, or I don't know if that's supposed to be the colors on there, but this one looks like it got beat up. Back looks good. The material's clean other than the colors on the face, so I'm assuming it's supposed to be there. Size small, seven bucks. There's only one sold, but most of the listed ones are at 50, so I'd probably undercut them and sell it. It's like a hockey jersey over here. Ontario Rain Hockey Club. I'm not sure if this is a giveaway or what this is, but Violent Gentleman is a brand locally. Ontario Rain is a semi-pro hockey team. This is cool. I'm gonna have to get this at five bucks, especially. Oh, this is cool. Marvel Punisher baseball jersey. You don't even have to look this up. You already know it's worth it. The only thing is, I can see a pulled piece down here, which is probably why I was priced five bucks. Let's see if it's noticeable with the buttons though. Yeah, it's kind of hidden. Might have to make it clear on there. This thing is cool, but they don't really sell that well. It's like not a full button, but it is old school rain spooner. See, with this one's coming up a little more pricey than the other ones since it's a limited issue, the classic. Same thing, the buttons don't go all the way, but it is uh, coming up more like the comps are better on this, so. Muncing wear. You might recognize that penguin on there. This is cool. Number two, Miller Lite, Rusty Wallace on a long sleeve button up. The shirt's actually in good condition. As long as all the buttons are here, I'll definitely grab it for two bucks. And no stains, at least not in this lighting, there's no stain. Here's a familiar label, but I've never seen a Hawaiian shirt from them. It was seven bucks, now it's four, so it's been here a little bit. It looks clean. I think I can at least get 20 bucks for this. Another Pendleton. This one's new with tags. Pendleton Zephyr. So I'm gonna rip this one, but they knew it was at least worth more than most of the shirts they have. And it's still probably worth it, especially with the winter coming around. Um, go for Pedro. Wait, this isn't like a remake though. It says right there, 2005, with the tags. Five bucks. It's gotta be worth more than that, right? Even with this glaring stain? It's not really a stain. I think there was a sticker there and it's gone. We'll take it. Keep on feeling like I'm gonna find a long sleeve Pendleton here somewhere. Oh. Feed him more. No stains. We're taking it. Especially at four bucks. So we spent 56 bucks on two big bags. The Peter Millar shirt and a couple of the other ones will already get us back to that at least. So good thing is we got plenty of profits to be had in these two bags. And just like that, we've got two bags there, two bags here, and a couple loose items on the inside there. So not bad.